I joined Binance uh, mainly because uh, I'm a true believer in CZ's vision in terms of uh, bringing the freedom of money to people around the world. And uh, also, I've been amazed at uh, the company, although just a year and a quarter old now, uh, has already basically the most well-known cryptocurrency brand in the world. And I think uh, from a retail perspective, and so I think that's something really, really uh, hard to build. And I think it'll be something that uh, we're really excited to take forth. I think fundraising is fundraising. At the end of the day, um, ideas and execution win. Um, I think capital will always find the entrepreneurs with the best projects and the best ideas. Um, it's just that uh, ICOs presented an alternative to the status quo. And I think uh, that's with basically being one of the use cases um, that people discover through the Ethereum blockchain, I think there's going to be other types of use cases that's going to come forth that we probably don't know yet. And uh, yeah, so as I think, I think, I think just just one form of fundraising. The DAX we preview last week. Um, this is something that we've been working on for quite a bit, and something that we hope to release next year. I think um, it'll make because uh, I think one of the things that we believe we believe in the uh, tokenized future. We believe that um, many things can be tokenized in a way that uh, really, really un unleashes the freedom of money. Um, through tokens and you can basically in in that you can take your value with you and you can invest it how you want it into projects into things that you want it and that's sort of kind of linked to sort of the, the future of stos if you look at security token uh, offerings or whatever you want to call it um, one of the things that a lot of people talk about today are basically you know early stage equity offerings as a one form of security but they sort of miss out uh, other types of security, fixed income products, real estate products, FX products. That is a, those are all huge markets. Um, those are regulated financial spaces. So that to act in that space, you need to basically be regulated financial institutions to be able to sell those type of products. And I think that's something that we started doing in Malta uh, and doing a joint venture with the Malta Stock Exchange eventually to maybe allow um, security token offerings there. Yeah, I mean, that exchange we launched ourselves. Um, that is a Uganda shilling to uh, Bitcoin, Ether, and BNB, and PAX. Those are the four tokens that are being currently offered, traded against the local currency there. Um, we really believe Africa uh, in, ter in terms of uh, not just crypto adoption, but actually bring, uh, you know, re bring cryptocurrency as a form of financial services, um, which uh, is uh, lacking in, in Africa right now. Um, we want to grow our user base. I think right now we have 10 million. We want to 10x that user base and 10x that before uh, again. So I think um, whether that takes you know three years, five years, ten years, um, we want to have users um, using our exchange platform.